Welcome my artistic friends, this is artist Susan Jenkins and I'm sharing with you today in Monet Cafe the advantages of painting small. There is something called artist trading cards that are little paintings, two and a half by three and a half inches, and I'm going to share with you a little bit about what they are. But the great thing is, small paintings can really help you improve as an artist, and I know that they help me a lot. So I want to share a little bit in this video. I'm going to actually do a small artist trading card size painting and talk about the advantages of that. But first I thought I'd show you a little bit about the history of artist trading cards and where they came from. Um, they are, it's, this is right here on Wikipedia, and it started out with artist trading cards, or ATCs, is a conceptual art project initiated by a Swiss artist. I'm not even going to try that name. Um, artist trading cards are the, what I said, two and a half by three and a half inches, and uh, the same format as modern trading cards like baseball cards people are familiar with. They are self-made, unique works or small series signed and dated on the reverse by the artist producer exchanged and collected by people who participate in this. Now um, I wanted to explain a little bit down here in the bottom uh, a little bit about the um, commercialization of it because it changed names okay the core purpose of the artist trading cards concept was a free exchange between the participants to establish rapport in order to allow for profit gain and non-artist collection both the concept of a mutual exchange and the name of the cards were altered in 2004 a first ATC's offshoot was organized on eBay by Lisa Lurie. I hope I'm saying that right. Right. Her name on eBay is Bone Diva. <laughs> to circumvent the intellectual property rights, she called it Art Cards Editions and Originals. Some of you may know it by the the acronym A C E O. Personally. I like artist trading cards better. It's easier for me to remember, but this is the official, you know, what they're called now is ACEOs, Art Cards, Editions, and Originals. So now we know a little bit about where they came from. They're very neat. People use them all the time to, uh, to trade and uh, to market, but I'm going to talk today about more of the advantages of just painting small in general. Uh, if you want to get more involved in the ACEO paintings, that's awesome, but I think painting small has lots of advantages, so let's get started talking about that and actually doing a small ACEO today. Let's get started. Here are the different pastels, um, colors, and values that I've chosen to use for this. And uh, I'm, I know it's a little teeny painting, and that really looks like a lot of colors for a small painting. But um, I've arranged them in order of um, the way the painting is. These are going to be the more of the foreground, those rich darks. Then we've got more of those golden grasses. There's even, I see like some, some greens I'm going to use um, kind of for that middle value there. This is a really dark, dark, it's actually a dark green that I'm going to use for those background trees. Now also, if you've watched my videos, you know that I layer a lot of colors, so they're not going to be only these colors. These are just the general idea, and then I'll layer and blend some. Um, this, I see a really brilliant spot behind the trees there where the clouds are. It's not, uh, it, it appears white, but if I used white, I know that value is going to be too light, so I'm going to play around with that bright yellow. I see some pinks kind of around the clouds. The clouds also have some grays in them. And then on up to the top upper atmosphere, it's where it's the darkest. So I'm going to lay down this, uh, this dark. I might even need something darker than this. I love this brilliant bold blue. The top is not super brilliant, so I'm going to tone it down with this. And I've got another blue here. So these are just uh, what I've chosen that I think will represent this image well. And notice the variety of pastels. I've got a lot of Terry Ludwig's here. Um, the square, they're the big chunky square ones. They're so soft and, and brilliant. Um, but I also have, let me see what else I have here. Um, these, I have some of the uh, Sennelier uh, pastels here. I even have some, I believe that's a Rembrandt. Uh, it's hard to see while I'm filming here. But I've got a little bit of everything here. I usually let color be my guide rather than type or hardness of pastel simply because I don't have an unlimited supply of colors in every brand. So I usually choose color first and um, you know, then I just I hope and pray it's the right hardness and, and usually it is. You can, uh, you can really make these uh, work for what you need. 
um, unless you're getting to those final layers and you've got a lot of pastel down and then the softies are the best at the very end so uh, but anyway let's get this started and see what happens Alright, what I have here is a piece of uh, Sennelier, it's a French word, Le Carte Pastel Card, it's called, because it's thick. These are thick pieces. And uh, this pad comes in various colors. And I really like this surface. It's a 360 grit, and uh, it's coarse. And to my knowledge, I've never done it because I've heard you can't apply water to this, unlike UART paper and some of the other uh, surfaces where you can do a watercolor underpainting or um, acrylic or whatever you want to apply underneath it. But um, I, to my knowledge, it's a no-no to apply water to this, so I've never tried it. But um, anyway, I love it because of its coarseness. It helps me to keep my work loose and uh, avoid getting too detailed, and I really like that quality about it. So it's a, And they also make the Sennelier pastels as well, which I love. They're awesome. So um, what I do, though, is I go ahead and uh, pardon all my color here from my last painting, um, but what I do is I go ahead and cut them up into the art trading artist trading card size, which is a 3.5 by 2.5. These are neat little things. I, I think that probably the history of this is something like artists started uh, doing small paintings and trading them with each other. And uh, But what's neat is it's a great way to practice to get better and not to waste so much of your pastel paper and your pastels. It's a real economical way to grow as an artist and they're fun. I kind of like working small. So um, if I cut up a whole bunch of them, they're just ready. I think these are actually a little bigger to leave a little border around it, you know, maybe to tape around it or whatever you're going to do. Um, this one is actually a different surface. Uh, this one is a UART paper that I did. So it's just good. Go ahead and cut them up so that you have them to use. And practice, practice, practice. That's how we get better. Painting every day, um, which I'm hoping to be able to do when my life gets more settled, um, is the best way to grow as an artist. All right, let's get started. <laughs> 